The Academy was designed in a way so that whether you wanted to just be an airplane enthusiast or you actually wanted to have a career flying airplanes, you kind of get a well-rounded educational aspect of all parts of aviation. Each of the students goes through a two-hour ground school every morning. Then they all get an opportunity to fly the gliders here at Wurzburg. But it's really important that they understand how gliders work, what the principles of flight are, the maintenance that goes into the airplanes, how to properly pre-flight an airplane. When we tow them up uh, and we release them at 2,500 feet above the ground, they actually get to control the stick and the pedals and understand exactly how the ailerons work, exactly how the rudder works, and they, they can feel all of that. And that's an experience that you could never get taught just by being in the classroom. It's something that they can feel and experience. Students get a nice lunch and lecture. They get to listen to somebody who's a professional in the aviation field. Everybody from aircraft maintenance professionals all the way to the FAA. The math topics were definitely specific to aviation. Some of the topics included were rope strength, glide ratio, weight and balance. They learned how to read compasses and what those directions mean. The Aviation Academy has allowed the kids the opportunity to see many of the career fields that are involved in the world of aviation. We visited the New York State Police Academy and Ray Giganti introduced us to some of the helicopters there. They went to Stewart Air National Guard Base where they were able to visit over a dozen career fields associated with the C-5. I had the opportunity to school the kids essentially on a little bit of military life and the culmination of their tour was getting a tour on a C-5 and using a flight sim. So it was a great opportunity for them and us as well. The children absolutely loved being in the flight simulator. Many described it as a big video game but thought that the experience was once in a lifetime. At the end of this process, they're actually going to be able to take their pre-written exam and everyone who's ever going to become a glider person is required to take that pre-written exam before they're signed off by an instructor. So this is not just something, you know, just for fun or something that's nominal. At the end of the day, they'll walk away with experience that they'll be able to take into a career in aviation or for fun in aviation in the future.